The Russian presence in Alaska didn't end with the transfer. Personal property was not part of the transfer. Private dwellings, warehouses, businesses, and churches and their property were not included. Klinka people occupied Shitka for centuries. They were attracted by the abundant resources of the forests and ocean for their food, clothing, shelter, canoes, and weapons. Battling between Klinka clans was common. New Klein, big fort, with its commanding view of Sitka Sound, gave its occupants an advantage in battle. We are in Sitka, Alaska here at the home of the Hernandez. My father, Jaime Hernandez, purchased this home for myself and my mother. And uh, this is it. This is our backyard, as you can see. You know, beautiful paradise. What can you catch out there? King salmon. And? Halibut. And? Snapper. And? Lincod. And? Yeah! It's me again, here to tell you that coming up next, salmon fishing in Alaska. It's unbelievable to anybody that's fished anywhere else that I came down here, there was one other person down here this morning. Can you believe that? And that's kind of fishing. <laughs> and I'm from Tucson, or if you had this kind of fishing down in Tucson or, or Phoenix, uh, you'd have cars lined up down the highway. I guess this is normal in Alaska at this time of the year. Yeah. Well, there's so many places you can go any place. Huh? In Sitka. And to catch kings from the from without going out in a boat, you go to Sawmill Creek? Uh, yeah, you can go to Sawmill Creek without a, uh, the same as here, you can drive right up to it. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. My name is Lisa Bush and I'm the director of the Sitka Sound Science Center and our mission here, we're a nonprofit organization, our mission is science education and scientific research. And as part of that, we have an aquarium with some lovely touch tanks and a fish hatchery, a salmon hatchery, and we love having visitors um, here at the Science Center. We are right across the street from the Sheldon Jackson College campus and right across the street from the Sheldon Jackson Museum. We have a website, uh, sitkasoundsciencecenter.org, and we're on Facebook. When you're in Sitka, be sure to visit us. See the salmon when they're spawning, heck man, where they were born they'll try to get back to. I'm at the uh, Science Center Salmon Hatchery. Right here this is the open ocean and look at them. Come to the uh, Sitka Science Center and uh, get close in touch with nature, some of the underlying sea life that exists around here. Here they come. Come to Sitka and enjoy where Mother Nature lives. Meanwhile, the salmon are jumping in the background, getting ready to spawn here at a place called Stargavin.
Also in Sitka, you can walk along the bird, the bird sanctuary, the uh, estuary actually. Lots of uh, wildlife and just beautiful trails in the forest. Man, this is beautiful. This is Alaska. Nature, it's uh, it's great, isn't it? Clean air. Alaska is uh, basically accessible by only 2%. 2% of the state of Alaska is accessible by road. The rest, you either have to have a plane or a boat. Isn't this awesome? Can you believe how beautiful this place is? And we're getting paid to be here. I just wish we could be here more often, you know, we work so much. But man, it is awesome when, when the sun is out and it's a beautiful day like this, you're in God's country and all is right with the world. When you come to Sitka, you definitely must visit St. Michael's Cathedral, established in 1837. Visitors may now view the beautiful, hand-carved altar and priceless Russian icons. You are cordially invited to visit the heart of historic Sitka. St. Michael's Cathedral has been designated a registered National Historic Landmark as of 1963. Under the provisions of the Historic Sites Act of August 21, 1935, this site possesses exceptional value in commemorating and illustrating the history of the United States. The U.S. Department of the Interior National Park Service, 1963. St. Michael's Cathedral has been designated a National Historic Landmark. This site possesses national significance in commemorating the history of the United States of America. In 1966, the National Park Service of the United States Department of the Interior designated St. Michael's Cathedral as a National Historical Landmark. Sergei Padukao, architect of the restoration between the years of 1968 and 1976, the Cathedral of St. Michael the Archangel. This is Guy Olson. I hope you enjoyed this Sitka video. And uh, if you haven't made it here, hopefully you will one day. For those that are more than likely watching this DVD, you've already been here. This is just a memory, a capture, an essence of the, of, of the time that you had in Sitka. This is Guy Olson with GOTV Baby. Bye.